So after my daughter died, over the years when we had our other children, I was hoping that I'd have another daughter because I wanted to have the experience of both. But each time we had sons. And um, so I kind of gave up that dream. Then when I was with Ruby, she had a daughter, she was 12. And uh, so I decided to you know, raise her the best I could. And I did. And even to this day, we still call each other uh, daughter and, and dad. And we got a bond that's gonna be there for the rest of our lives. I couldn't imagine any reason for it to stop. I raised her from 12 all the way up to 19. She still needed me at then, you know. Um, I bought her a vehicle at the end, the, at the end when she moved out. But it's not the same as raising a child, you know, like a daughter all the way from birth, all the way up until they move out. To me, it isn't. Um, so I kind of gave up that, you know, dream. But then I thought, you know, what's the, what's the chance? You know, maybe it could possibly happen. But I always dated older, always. Even when I was younger, 17 and 21, 18 and 28. You see, seven, uh, 17, I was with a 31 year old, always dated older. And uh, for the very first time, you know, I started thinking about dating younger and then Chelsea came along and asked me, have you ever thought about dating younger? And I'm going like, wow, that's weird. I was just blogging about that. And you mentioned that. And then we got to know each other, everything worked out. You know, we had a lot of things in common. And so uh, she came here and we had, you know, talked about it and she wanted to have a child for me. Well, I had already been studying for like six months on what you can do to up your chances of having a female versus uh, a boy, a male. And so I didn't even get to use that, what I had read, because, you know, she was on the pill and we weren't going to have a child till the next year. And it happened before we had planned. I did not know that that was going to happen. And I made a video about that, you know, that she was pregnant. So anyway, look, God blessed me and gave me a daughter. And every day when I wake up and I go in there and get her and stuff, I'm just like, I'm tickled to death. I got my dream. I had dreamed for so long. And God bless me. I have no doubts about it. You know, for all the good things that I've done for like Crystal and for my boys putting Andrew in college, everything that I did, I was always doing the right thing. And I believe that God did, uh, you know, bless me by giving me something in return. And so I am going to do the best that I can to raise her the right way. And so far I have. And it's been hard at times. Yeah, it's been hard. The days where she throws a fit and stuff like that, or, oh God, like the day she took off the diaper and got the poop everywhere and I had to clean that up. It took me like two hours because I do a thorough job of cleaning things up. But I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't. It has been an experience that I'll, I'll never forget. And uh, I just hope that I live long enough for like, you know, when she moves out. I might not. Um, but... Like I've said before in another video, I could have died in my 20s. Lots of my one of my niece's uh, brothers died when he was only 20 something years old of cancer. So you can die any time. Just take a chance, you know, and do the best you can for as long as you can. And that's what I'm doing. But I am tickled to death. The smile on her face when I make her laugh and giggle. And Peyton, he hugs me every day and tells me he loves me. You know, it's, it's a great feeling. It really is. Raising children has been an experience that's just, it outdoes everything, you know? All right. So that's it on this. You guys have a good one. Take care and God bless.